Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, folks. I can't offer you a more exciting venue than what we have here. Game one, fireworks, explosive. Four lead changes, extra innings, culminating by a base clearing, bottom of the eighth, double to right field by Soph Valentini, who happened to also make herself the winning pitcher on the hit as she pitched the complete game win. The Bulldogs hung around, trailed most of the game, all of the game in fact, turned it into a victory and here they are in game two. Alex Storr at bat. First pitch is a ball. We have a new pitcher pitching, Meg Mancini, known for movement on her pitches more so than the speed we saw in the first game. I saw a lot of movement from the lefty in warm-ups. And that is crazy movement, what I'm seeing now. So far we have two balls and no strikes by the freshman leadoff hitter. Storr, an excellent player. Only a freshman. Sky is the limit. The shortstop leader for the Bulldogs. Nice off-speed breaking pitch from the lefty. Great control. The end of the break over the plate. Two and one count. Up and in on the box is Storr. Well, I might add this series, if you weren't tuned in, the pitch, up and in, so we're going to miss. This uh, two-game doubleheader here has huge divisional implications as they came in today, both squads, that is, with two losses and tied. Now the Bulldogs have the one-game advantage. A win here would be enormous. They have a doubleheader with Bayview on June 8th. The pitch, strike three over the plate, curveball, beautiful spot exactly as she was described. So as I say, Prout has already played Bayview and lost. We play the doubleheader with Bayview. If we could come out of here with two victories over Prout, that would put the Bulldogs in far better position as far as division and playoffs go. The lefty again. Off speed, breaking pitch, drops low. So that's the end of my lecture. That's the end of the back set. But the first game, it really was a great game. Bulldogs having trouble getting their third out. Three out of the four runs, they got the first two batters out, had nobody on two out, and uh, allowed the opponents to manufacture runs. The pitch, off-speed breaking right over the plate. This is a ma major adjustment right here for the Bulldogs lineup. It might take everyone, even an entire at bat. The speed change is very large speed change and a lot more motion. And that one breaks in on her hands, off the hands, fouled out of play. And the fact that it's a lefty coming from a righty, it's a pretty great opposite situation. Hard throwing righty versus movement placement lefty. That's a tough duo in one day to face. And that's an off speed breaking ball, fouled back. Thank you. So what, we are Westley.live. I'm the voice, Greg Morano. We have Lisa and Chrissy down the first baseline on the lens alongside producer owner Shane Belanger. And this is fast pitch, softball action, fouled down the right field line out of play. We are bringing to you Westerly Bulldogs, female, fast pitch, softball action, Westerly versus Pro. If you are just tuning in, this is the back end of a doubleheader. Momentum, energy, everything, aura, everything in favor of the Bulldogs, which was not the case for the entirety of the game. One swing of the bat really did it. And that's a beauty for a strikeout. That is one heck of a breaking ball she has. And she seems to know how to place it very well. I've seen small, medium, and large breaks from it. Two batters, two outs for the Bulldogs. Nice off-speed breaking pitch. Slow break on the outside edge. Murdoch, number three hitter this game, who I also believe will be the pitcher, the senior, tries to do something with nobody on and two outs. Strike. I do believe, I don't know, he might have called that high. Let me see what the signal was. And the pitch inside, ball. And Prout still offers those two gaps. 
They, they protect the right field line, yet they play straight up in center, creating that gap that Valentini hit to win the game. And uh, that gap up the middle, they play a wide separation between short and second. Breaking ball over the plate off the fist foul. Murdoch stays alive. So they do play with two distinct holes. They obviously find that um, the opponent's pulling the ball or being very late. Regardless, if they're exposed as they were, it can be detrimental. Breaking ball over the plate, strike three. Murdoch knew it. That's a tough pitch to hit. There's gonna be some major adjustments needed. It's early though, folks, and through one. We don't have a score. Game two, 0-0, zero, zero, top second inning. Prout, second chance here. Prout's first chance, excuse me, we're backwards tonight in the second game as the Bulldogs are the visiting team. And I do believe Murdoch's gonna head towards the rubber and she will throw the rubber and pitch the second game, the senior. As Valentini got the win in the first, improving the Bulldogs to seven and two and dropping Prout to six and three. As far as my sources have told me. Now we have shadows over most of the field, two thirds anyway, we'll cover. We will need the lights. Who knows, if it's as close as last game, we may need them for a while. I'm okay with that. An exciting game like that, I'll take any day. I know the coach had a long talk with the team over there on Prout's side. I obviously was not in on the discussion, but probably just trying to emotionally keep the team from getting too down on the loss. They did lead for the entire game until the Bulldogs were able to tie it at three and then they immediately took a four to three lead. So they led the whole way for the Bulldogs to steal that one. This would just make for a great night for Westerly if Murdoch can keep them at bay. However, number 15, Meg Mancini, thus far in the top of the first, showed uh, what kind of movement she has on her pitches as well as location, leading me to believe this is going to be a low scoring affair, as was the first. So Murdoch's still warming up. Don't see any other major changes from the Bulldogs that will line up. Um, Valentini went from pitcher to first base. And we're ready to go here, folks, in the bottom of the first inning. I will do my best not to make that mistake. So if you're just tuning in, Prout is the home team in game two of this doubleheader. So this being the bottom of the first. And the senior Murdoch's first offering. Inside, ball one. And that's a breaking ball, up and away. Hey, that's a nice breaking ball, just stayed up a little bit. Just a little bit off here on first batter. Struggling in warm ups, you gotta realize it's later in the evening and you gotta warm up that arm. I have no fear that Murdoch will zone in. And that stays upstairs, four pitches, four balls, and that will give Prout their first runner. Not an ideal start, but can be dealt with early in the game here. And the pitch up and away. Struggled a little bit in warm-ups, I noticed. And that's a low and then gonna get past Arnold and the runner will be in scoring position. So number four, the proud leadoff hitter. 
Abby Smith, the shortstop, junior, at second base now. The six in a row here. But you gotta remember, nothing looked ideal for six innings for the Bulldogs last game, and they came out with the win. Squares the bunt, stays out there, saves himself from another ball, and bunts it straight back to the backstop. Gets a strike out of it, a freebie. Pratt wants to capitalize, but I do believe just canceled. I do not know their signs. But swing away generally just means swing away. And that's a breaking ball. Not enough break down the line. Left field does a great job of grabbing it off one hop. Keeping it out of single. She's going to go home. Nobody tells the cutoff man, so she goes back to third for no reason. Bulldogs got very fortunate there. Lack of communication on both ends. Bulldogs need to communicate. Henderson didn't know exactly where it was going to end up going. And on the other end, Prout should have scored a run unquestionably on that. She was two-thirds down the line and retreated. We have first and third. Nobody out. Number 12. The pitch, breaking ball, low and away. Throws it down to second, cuts it off. Not enough of a break at third. Runners at second and third. Nobody out. Top of the Bottom of the first inning for Prout. Number 12, Briley Merrill at bat, the right fielder. She's a senior. There's real estate at first base for her, so you don't want to give her too much of the plate. Right now, Murdoch's struggling to find too much of the plate. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. And that's a ball that stays up high. Bulldog's in trouble early. There's no quit in this team. I have no fear. And the pitch, breaking ball off speed. Beautiful pitch. Merrill way ahead of it. Two strikes. And a strikeout would be fantastic here. Freshman on deck for Prout. Pitch, nice pitch. Try to go the other way with it. Breaking ball down and away. And uh, number 12 stays alive. Merrill. Murdoch at the set, and the pitch upstairs and away. Two balls, two strikes. Runners at second and third, nobody out. Bottom of the first. Game two of a doubleheader. Bulldogs with a 5-4 victory in game one. And in a jam in game two. Up and away to the backstop. Runner still doesn't go because it was a hard hit off the backstop. Not enough room. Give the Bulldogs a favorable rebound. Full count, big pitch here. There is real estate at first. You do not want to throw it right down the middle. Yet you love a strike. And that's up and away. Ball four. So the bases are loaded, nobody out. I would say the infield should or would move in. And uh, we're going to see what they do. Coach is moving them slowly in, I do believe. There we go. And we're going to look to try to cut down a runner at home if we can. This early on in the game. Second baseman backing up for the chance of a double play. Everyone else is going home. Coach's orders. That goes directly to the backstop. Fortunate kick again due to the speed of the hit to the backstop. The ball is rebounding, not allowing the runners to advance. Murdoch struggling with control at the moment. I think Coach Luppy is almost ready to come out and speak, and here he comes. Not sure if it's a mechanical problem. It could be anything, you know. Sports, it could be fundamental. It could be mechanical. It could be mental. It turns into mental when it happens long enough. That's due to happen. But it is only the first inning. I've watched Murdoch get stronger as every inning progressed in a game. So if it's not something physical... I have full confidence in her. But we need to minimize the damage here in the first inning. There's no damage done yet whatsoever, but there's also no outs. So someone would think would be done. If she can get a chopper to the infield, knock down a run at home, that would be fantastic. The freshman for Prout. The pitch. 
Called ball, close, not getting the call. Stood high on a shorter hitter. Green at bat, what a no count. And that pitch is upstairs, 2-0. and Three and oh, the count, correction. Red light, needless to say. Throws a curveball, questionable. Can't find the plate, looking at the coach, shaking her head. I've been there, I understand. And you're just not sure, you just don't know what's going wrong, but it's going wrong. I can feel her pain. And that's upstairs, that gets past Arnold, not enough. She got enough of the glove. So. Scores one nothing, the bases are loaded, nobody's out. Abby Smith at bat, upstairs for a ball. And that's going to drop in low and in for a ball. Again, only one run in, top of the bottom of the first inning. Can't give it to her. That's going to be a walk. They're going to walk in the second run here. Another visit, I do believe, would mandate a change. So they're going to be uh, stay in the dugout. And the senior who caught the entirety of the first game and did one heck of a job in doing so at bat here with no outs in the bases loaded. Very dangerous situation to be in. Swing and a miss. Nice location on a breaking ball. Broke away. This is not who I would particularly root for to be at bat. This senior is playing first base in game two. And the breaking ball the other way. She goes the other way with it. Fielded by Vettelino. Flipped. For the out, run scores, three nothing. And we have runners on second and third, one out. So Vettelini to Valentini for the out. Bulldogs get their first out. Middle backs up. Swing and a miss by number seven. So Murdoch still is starting to find the strike zone here. Squares the bunt, gets the bunt off down the line. A beauty, feels it, she's safe at first, I believe. And she is gonna maintain her spot at first, bunts in a run. So that's a bunt single with an RBI. It was uh, intended on a sacrifice, but put it on such a perfect spot. The bunt actually came to a settle on the chalk line. Run number four is in. One out, runners on the corners. And nothing for movement. They just matched their game one total for runs, Prout did. So there's obviously no quit in this Prout team. They haven't had to do a lot. That bunt being really the only thing offensively that they've had to manufacture themselves. Squares the bunt, going to second, the throw for the out. A beauty by Arnold, and she is out. A run scores, Store is hit on the play. Hopefully she's okay. They give up the run for the out. Arnold throws a laser to second. Store is walking it off. Coach wants to talk about something. Who it's going to confer with the other umpire. And that was quick. I don't know what Wesley's doing at the moment. They're all making sure their teammates are okay. Shows her value. So they get the second out of the inning, sacrificing the run, score 5 nothing. And we have cleared the bases. It's 
two outs. I do believe there's one ball and one strike, but don't mark my words. Up on the plate. Man, that's a strike, a nice spinner over the plate. Strike two. I believe strike two, could be strike one. Choked up. And that's comes in low. And that's a change up for the strike. So there wasn't one. And now there's two. Two and two count. Long bottom of the first inning. And that's a nice curveball. Fouled out of play. Two and two count. Bulldogs do anything to get off the field at the moment. And the pitch is going to skip to the backstop. I believe there's only three balls. That's why I didn't say walk yet. I'm wondering what was going on. She didn't get struck with the pitch, and it wasn't ball four. So I think there's just a little confusion on the batter's side. We are at a full count in my estimation. And two outs, and that's what we have. Nobody on. Damage is done, bases are erased. Let's go to the dugout swing and tips it back to the back top. Crowd still animated, far more animated on the right than they were, but they know there's a long game left. Fouled back. Murdoch's pitch is a beauty strike three on the inside corner and that will end the inning but the damage done Prout in the bottom half of the first inning serving as host home team in game two drops five on the bulldogs who have built themselves a little bit of a mountain to climb it is doable it is so early we are heading to the top of the second inning five to nothing Prout. Game two of today's doubleheader, game one in favor of the Bulldogs in dramatic fashion with a 5-4 to four victory in eight innings. Game two has not started favorably for the Bulldogs. And the pitcher for Prout opened impressively in inning number one. It's been a while since she was out there. I'm not seeing much but strikes, though, out of her. She threw two pitches, and warm-ups are done, so she's confident in her arm. And she does have a lot of break on her pitches, let me tell you. Most I've seen out of any pitcher. And the distinct speed difference, the differential from number 17 last game to number 15 this game, this is going to be a one-time-through-the-order adjustment minimally. That's if the Bulldogs can adjust. You're talking a possibility of, I don't know, seven mile an hour difference. Eight maybe even. It's big. And you're not seeing anything straight. And it's from the other arm. All being said, third baseman, Crotchilla up to bat for the Bulldogs. First pitch upstairs. Takes it for ball one. And the crowd has stayed. It looks like there was a little bit of a turnover, and we have a good size attendance at the house tonight. And that's a nice breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Tough one to hit. They're still ahead of it. Not really on it. 
Yeah, we'll move up in the box, maybe catch it before it breaks. And that's a nice breaking ball. Breaks that one low and in. And they're crossing the plate, so if you don't swing, they're going to be strikes. They have a late, hard break on them. And that one hangs a little bit. She almost makes them pay. Line drive off of a fan seated in left in right left field correction. Almost waited on that one enough. If you do wait on it, you may get rewarded, that's for sure. She has a violent windup too, so it's so distinct from her pitch. She has a heavy windup and a high arm speed, and then it comes out at a much lower speed than you'd think. Upstairs and in, ball two. Good at bat right now for the third baseman. Two and two count. And that one's over the plate. Waited on that one. That's going to stay fair. That's a beauty. That one's going all the way to the fence. In the corner, it can't go anywhere better. She's going to keep her at second base. Why make the out at third? Wisely done. You can't hit it to a further nook or cranny in this ballpark. It legitimately went into the corner of the two fences in left field. Great at bat by Caracciolo to work the account all the way back, foul him off, and then wait on that breaking ball. And if you wait on it, you're going to hit it well square because it doesn't come fast. Great job of hitting. Lead off double. And that breaking ball is in. Hits the runner, foul ball. Thankfully, she hadn't left the box. This is Dina Arnold at bat. So this is primarily nothing but breaking balls we're going to see. See, I see Arnold has moved up and in on the box. That would be my approach. Yeah, and that breaking ball, she almost waits on, pops the foul out of play. Valentini on deck. Bulldogs don't need all five, just need to chip away. Arnold waiting for the pitch. The wind up stays outside. Straight pitch. That's as high of velocity as I've seen. Got to expect that breaking ball, and there it is. It doesn't break hard. Gets around the hands, though. That's the idea. Got to get around faster. One and two, the count. And the lefty, the delivery, the pitch breaks inside. Call, strike three. Got the front corner. Broke way inside, and that is out on numero uno. Valentini at bat. Runner in scoring position. The Bulldogs can just crack it and grab one or two even. And that's a breaking ball in. Got a round on it just a little too much. So it's early, and we're starting to see the Bulldogs make some solid contact. They're going to have to. Third baseman playing the line. Playing straight up now. And a strike call. They've made that change, so that gap is no longer really there. They're playing everybody more or less straight up, which is odd because the pitches are coming in slower, but I digress. And that's up and in, and it hits her. So, Valentini, as long as she's okay, it's tough to take one off the wrist or hands. Gets a free pass to first. Breaking ball broke in a little too much. Bulldogs have runners at first and second, one out. We are in the top of the second inning. The Bulldogs are visiting in this game two of the doubleheader, folks. If you're just tuning in, we are Wesley Dow Live. Game one, extra innings. Bulldogs win five to four. Waits for the breaking ball. It's over the pitcher's head. Pops it. Second baseman. Gets it to first on time. Out number two. Bulldogs have two in scoring position. But game two, as Prout hosts as home team, 
They dropped five runs in the top of the first as we stand. In the bottom of the first as we stand in the top of the second, five nothing. From right field, Smith, breaking ball up and in. A hit would score two. That would be huge. That's how you have to break down a lead like this. If they can grab two here in the first, that'd be a huge notch. And that's the breaking ball. She turns on. He doesn't get by her. We go off the third baseman. That's going to be one run in, and it is. So the Bulldogs get one. Chipping their way back. Infield hit. Diving effort by number 24. Off of her glove. Number 22, Ava Tenuta at bat. Split up the middle. If she could drop one over there and grab another one for the Bulldogs. Breaking ball in the middle. Little pop-up. That's better than a bump, but it rolls foul. That's a shame. Tanuta choked right up, and she goes after it. That's a breaking ball in. Nice pitch. Quickly up 0-2, though. And so, nice, good pitch selection by the pitcher. A spinner just keeps it outside. Tanuta stays alive. Good job of protecting with two strikes. And this pitch is inside. Swing and a miss. Doesn't run to first. Hits the ground. The throw to first for the out. And that'll end the inning. And the score, after one and a half, the home team, Prout, five, who are about to take the bat. And the Bulldogs have cracked into it a little bit, scoring one in the second inning, five to one the score. Prout looking for a split here in this doubleheader, which would force a split in the Bayview doubleheader by the Bulldogs. So we're going to hope that Murdoch's settling in. It looks like she had been, but she is not going to tow the rubber anymore. There's a pitcher change for the Bulldogs. Something physical you would think must be wrong. Bothering Murdoch the entire time. She clearly knew it. She was telling her coach. And always better safe on such a young person than sorry. So back comes game one's winning pitcher. So Valentini. How their arms can possibly do that, I have no idea. Pitch, cool off, and then warm right back up again. God bless their young arms. I will tell you, that's, this is a feat. Anyway. You do what you have to do. Most teams don't carry three pitchers capable of starting to be in all honesty. Especially this early in the game, because they need a lot of innings chewed up here. If this was late in the game, you can throw somebody new that's just working on it in, but I mean, we were talking the bottom of the second inning. They need someone to get through three, four innings here at least. So they go to the answer in game one, who's going to need some ice tonight. So Fountini back on the rubber. And first pitch, swing and a miss right there. Like she never stopped. And second pitch, curveball, grounded to third. Fielded, throw to first, beauty. That's Lily Vettolino over to Caracciolo. Almost like an opposite action situation. Third baseman playing first. Vettolino, nice play at third base. One batter, one out, two pitches. Both strikes. And up and away, ball one. Abby Smith, the junior shortstop for Prout at the plate. 
Breaking ball held on to the inside corner. And there is no longer sun in play, more or less. As we move into dusk, the pitch, breaking ball, line drive, hard hit ground ball, should I say, to the left fielder. Bobbles it, that's gonna give her a second base. Turns into a stand-up double, how they rule it, I don't know. I would a single with an error, to be honest. If you feel that cleanly and get it in, you keep that runner out of scoring position. Hard hit ball regardless. One out, runner in second base. And the pitch over the plate, gap, left center. Good angle by Murdoch, cuts it off, throws it in. It's gonna plate the run though. That store has nowhere to go with it really. So Prout is hitting the ball. The bats are alive in game two. Another run in, makes the score six to one. One out, one around first. Those runs were inherited, they're not on Valentini. Now anything going forward is the pitcher of record will be Murdoch, unless the Bulldogs can score six or more runs, which they can, clearly capable of. Throw down the first to right field. Fortunately, that's a good job backing up by Cassie Birch. Number 12, Briley Merrill. At bat, swing on a spinner, doesn't break. Fouled off, no play. Strike two. And that's all speed right over the heart of the plate. Swing and a miss. So there's two outs here now in the bottom of the second inning. One run in, runner on first, number 21 at bat, Molly Green, the freshman for Prout. The pitch, strike one. Nice breaking ball from Valentini. If she goes the rest of the way, Valentini will have pitched, I don't know, 14 innings tonight. And breaking ball tries to go with it, fouls it out of play. Two strikes. That's a heavy load, let me tell you. Especially for a freshman. And the pitch down low, nice stop by Arnold. Inside and fouled up, out of play. And we have balls, we're back in play here. Breaking ball comes down a little bit too late, apparently. That one looked like it had the strike zone. Must have called it high, I'm guessing. High and away, ball three, full count here. Two outs. And the pitch breaks away. That's a ball somehow. Apparently that was outside. Gets first base, put it down first and second, and we will start with a new one. Number 24 at bat. That'd be Abby Smith for Prout. Two outs, two on. Bulldogs want a bat, they need an out. And that's a spinner right over the heart of the plate, not getting the call there either, must have been high. She's getting plenty of the plate, high, low. I can't determine from up here. So I go with the trust in the blue, and that's outside. Kind of losing the zone a little bit here. Need this third out. This was the elusive out in game one. Three out of the four runs that Proud scored were with two outs and no one on. 
Yeah, that time away for a ball. Frustration for all the Bulldogs has got to be after such an emotional comeback victory to so quickly succumb to so many runs. It, it's an emotional drain on you. And a strike called. On top of the fact that this is physically grueling, I mean, it is tiresome. And they're in game two. They're not used to two games. And that's a swing and a miss, strike two. Quickly gets ahead of the batter. Gretchen comes back. And the payoff pitch, breaking ball, hit hard and high to the center fielder. She's got an eye on it and makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. One run in for Prout. The score after two complete Prout home team six, visiting Bulldogs one. If you're just tuning in, game one of this doubleheader went to the host Bulldogs five to four in eight innings. This is game two. We are in the top of the third inning, and the score is a six to one pro advantage. We are Westerly Dot Live, and we are going to head to break for a moment. <laughs> Welcome back, one and all. We are Westerly Dot Live, and we are at Similori Field with some heavy duty fast pitch softball action. Doubleheader style. We are in the back half of this doubleheader. Bulldogs coming back and winning game one in dramatic fashion, five to four. However, no quit in Prout as they pose the home team in game two. They drop five in inning one, one in inning two. The score, 6-1 to one as we head to the top of the third as the Bulldogs bat in the top half as the visiting team. The top of their order back up, number 18, Alex Storr, their shortstop, freshman. Spectacular athlete for a freshman. She will try to get something started if they can continue to chip away. This is not insurmountable. Tiresome, though. How long can they hang on? First pitch inside off her hand. She muscles it. Good play by the second baseman. The throw is in time. Good defense by Prout. We have seen that. Pretty good defense all day long. That looked like a hit. They took it away. Great backhand and throw. They're playing loose and happy. Wesley's playing a little bit tired. So Gabriella Brennan at bat. And ground ball, third baseman cuts it off. Toss to first, is low, but goes away from him. That's gonna be a runner at first for the Bulldogs. A little bit of life in the Bulldogs dugout. Coach calls timeout. Makes a position switch. So third will go to first, first will go to third, and we will start play in the top of the third. One out, one on. Elena Murdoch, the senior at bat. And nice breaking ball over the outside corner. Strike one. Yeah, that's a breaking ball. That dropped a mile. That's a tough one to hit. Almost like a knuckle curve. Had about a foot and a half drop span on it. Two strikes, no balls. And that's a spinner outside. Good eye. 
I'd say one out of four of her pitches are straight. She knows how much her break is going to be. Catcher sets up outside, so not much of a break here. There was too much to off her fist, though. Lobbed to second, makes the second out of the inning. That's four unassisted for out number two. And first baseman, Emma Cracciola, number 27 at bat for the Bulldogs. Played third base last game. Turned on one pitch, had a double in the game-winning inning. And that is off of her hands. That was a good pitch to hit. Breaking ball that took the meat of the plate. Still a good crowd down the left field line for the home team on scene. And Prout really did bring a big following. There might be more people down there. It's a smaller area. And that's a breaking ball underneath it. Fouled out of play. Two strikes. Got to get that wrist turned over. Try to get on top of it. Bulldogs with a runner on first. Down by five against this Prout team. Their caliber you need to chip away as the game goes. Breaking ball just gets a piece of it. Needed it. That's a called strike if there's no swing. So you got to do something. Two outs in the inning, and the delivery, the pitch, breaks over the play, way ahead of it, and that is pulled over the crowd in left field. Going to have to wait about a half a second to get that in play, which is an eternity in the time. And the pitch breaking ball over the middle of the plate, swings, follows it straight back. A lot of pitches for an 0-2 count, I gotta say. And this breaking ball, she waits on it. She launches this one, folks, but the left fielder gets to the play. Played her deep enough. Ends the inning just under it. She was just under a couple foul balls, just under that one. Well played by Prout. That was a deep fly ball. Ends up as seven unassisted for the third out, and we will head to the bottom of the third. Prout six, Westerly one. On Westerly.live, game two of a doubleheader, where we will bring you another fast pitch doubleheader on June 8th versus Bayview, division leading undefeated Bayview Academy, which is what makes this doubleheader so important. Prout was unsuccessful in their attempts versus Bayview. Game one tonight was vital for the Bulldogs. So Valentini, back on the rubber. She's got an arm leg rubber apparently because I could not hold mine up if I had the task that she's had this evening. And the Bulldogs done warming up, getting ready to start the bottom half of the third inning here. Bulldogs need a quick inning. Had a pretty good one last inning, just not quick. But it didn't give up any runs. Number 14 appears to be limping her way to the plate a bit. Good hitter, catcher in the first game. And ball one inside. And that is lowing in to the backstop, ball two. Oh 
That pitch is a beauty on the inside corner. And that is hit solidly to center field for a single. Played cleanly by the Bulldogs, thrown back into store. That pitch over the outer half, but got too much of the plate. So a leadoff single for Prout threatens to add more runs. Not what the doctor ordered for the Bulldogs. And the pitch not giving the corners at the moment here. Well, and in. Yeah, that pitch has got a lot of the play. Launch, beat the left fielder for sure. And that's two hops to the base of the offensive warning track if we had one. Thrown back in, the runner's not gonna advance from third. That pitch got way too much of the plate, but right now without the edges being called, you don't have much of a choice. And that is launched for a long drive, a double. Prout continues to attack. We have no outs. Runners on second and third. And that's over the inside corner. Just getting a little bit too much of the play at the moment. Squares the bump, pulls it back, How calls the ball there. That looks like a strike from my perspective. Seems to be tightening the zone a little bit here, making things difficult. Now with the doctor ordered as far as the Bulldogs go. Squares the bump, that one's lowing in. Peculiar call to square the bunt anyway. Up five runs with no outs and a person on third. You'd pretty much rather normally just run a regular inning. And squares the bunt anyway. Fouls it off. No outs, runs on second and third. Two and two count. Bulldogs are Somewhat in. Breaking ball, called up and away. We are at a full count. There is a base open, you don't want to get too much of the plate. Right now you've sort of been forced to, but you can't really let it go there. Catcher sets up inside, pitches up and away, and that's a walk. Better than throwing something right over the heart and getting hit hard. Base is loaded, nobody out, six to one. This could uh, really have a lot of say in the end of this ball game, this scenario right here. There's nobody out with the bases loaded. Uh, Faith Goddard, right fielder, freshman at bat. Right over the heart of the plate. Swing and a miss, strike one. So we got a freshman up, getting an opportunity to play here with bases loaded, nobody out situation. A check swing to the backstop. There's a play, slide is under it, and she is safe at home. She did in fact slide under it from my perspective as well. Good call by the umpire, so that pass ball gives him a free one, seven to one. Still nobody out. Check swing allowed the ball to go by. One and one count. So the softball gods are definitely on proud side at the moment. And the pitch breaking ball, swung on and fouled out of play. Count is one and two. Goes right after a swing and a miss on the inside corner, one out. Number nine comes to the plate. Never mind, number four correction. 
That'll be Abby Smith, a junior shortstop. Bases, runners on second and third. Strike one. Spinner on the inside corner, fouled off. Runners on second and third, one out. And the line drive the other way, caught by the second baseman. Couldn't make the double up, great effort by Storr. Slides in just on time. Nobody advances, so they stop the bleeding here. From bases loaded, nobody out, only one run in and two outs now. If they can get out of this and get in the dugout having only given up one run, that is a victory. Small, but huge in reality because this could be spread wide open if these two runs get knocked in. Number 15 at bat, Megan Mancini, and we know who she is. She is queen of the curve, who's towing the rubber in game two here. Ahead in the count, 1-0. Breaking ball, off speed, gets a little bit on it. Looks like a perfect button. I handle the ball by the pitcher. And that'll be an infield single. Swinging bunt, I guess you would call it. Perfect spot, RBI included. The score, eight to one. Runner on third and first. And still two outs. Couldn't have placed it any better. Gets herself an RBI. Number 22 at bat, Faith Goddard, a freshman right fielder. Let's strike one go by on the outer portion. Bulldogs need to stop the bleeding. They're getting tired emotionally and physically at this point. Spinner over the inside of the plate, knuckled to the second baseman, makes the out, ends the inning, stops the bleeding. And the Bulldogs will get a chance at the top of the fourth here. After three complete, the score, Prout home team, eight runs. Westerly visiting here in game two, one. As we head to the top of the fourth, game two. The Bulldogs taking game one by a score of five to four in eight innings. And it's a good thing they did by the looks of things. Again, we are Westerly.live. I am the voice, Greg Morano, alongside producer, owner, Shane Belanger. We have Lisa and Chrissy behind the lens down the line. And we are going to be right back here on June 8th for an even more important home doubleheader versus Bayview Academy. The only losses of the season for Pro were to Bayview Academy, thus making game one so important for the Bulldogs to have won if this continues to go in the fashion that it seems to be heading. If the Bulldogs split here, they'll need to split there. Dina Arnold, the catcher for the Bulldogs, will be leading off this inning. Prout more or less having a meeting more than a warm up. They're pretty warm at this point. This is the 12th inning that they've played. There will be 15 minimum. That's all the Bulldogs can do. As I hear being spoken is Chip away, chip away. They can't do five runs at a time. They can, but it just happens. All you can do is your part. I mean, the first game had the feel of a game like this. Prout was in command, it felt like. But Wesley was just there. They just hung around. So they're a resilient team. And right there, first pitch, bang. Dina Arnold on base, line drive single up the middle. And that shoots energy up into the team immediately. And Lily Vettelino, nope, correction. The pitcher, so Valentini at bat. Who had the game winning hit last game and was on record as the game winning pitcher. With inherited runs included, she came into this game with a six to run one deficit. 
And the umpire is ready now, so we can go. Run around first, nobody out. The pitch, breaking ball, called strike. Late break, we'll do a little better job waiting on it. You can watch their weight back. That's pretty much the key, just gonna keep your weight back, let the break happen. And a little bit ahead, weight in front, pass ball. That'll put the runner in scoring position. Makes the throw anyway. Wesley has a little habit of overrunning second base. We don't have to work on that. I almost caught him in the first game. Two strikes now. Valentini protecting the plate. Breaking ball right there. Just off on her front foot a little bit. Got to keep that weight back. Lily Vetterini. Excuse me. Lily Vettelino at bat for the Bulldogs with one out. Runner at second base. The pitch breaking ball low. Good eye. One and oh. Top of the fourth here. Lights on now, folks. And the pitch breaking ball doesn't get the outside. Good eye by the batter. Two and oh count. Breaking ball to the plate, foul back. Two and one count on the batter. Breaking ball to the plate, and that's a single, a beauty, great job waiting on it. And the run is not gonna come home because that's a beautiful relay, but wisely that'll, <coughs> Lot wisely, Vettelino advances to second on the throw home, and the Bulldogs are now in business with two runners in scoring position and only one out. Kept her weight back, dropped a single just in front of the center fielder, and the Bulldogs are adjusting now. Swing and a miss. Cassie Birch at bat for the Bulldogs. Huge spot for a single. Chip off two runs here. And fouls it out of play. Vettelino does have the speed to score on a single. The outfield is at a distance. They're going to try to chop down a runner at home if they have the opportunity. Not playing deep at all. And the lefty pitch breaks across the plate. Gets past the catcher. Throws down to first. Accurate throw for the out. Out number two for the Bulldogs. Ava Tenuta steps in with two outs. Two in scoring position. Number 22 at the plate. Yeah, hey, break the ball the inside portion. Just missed. I'll stay back. And the pitch stays outside. Breaking ball waits on it a little bit, just got under it though. And the shortstop's going to suck that up and end the inning. Three outs for the Bulldogs. So through three and a half innings to score eight to one, Prout. And Prout will bat in their half, bottom half of the fourth inning. With a seven run lead.
And we are ready to start the bottom half of the fourth inning here. And the first pitch of the inning up and away. Number 21, Molly Green, the freshman. Seeing a lot of freshmen at the plate here. Just altering through lineups because I have two lineups and some of the freshmen on the initial lineup for intended to play, weren't even intended to play. That probably is now rotating in. I apologize about the delay there. So the freshman at bat, one of five freshmen in the game now. One. Two, three, four, five freshmen are playing for Prout. They hold an eight to one lead, so getting experience, if nothing less. We are under the lights here at Similori Field. And that's gonna be a walk. Run around first base with nobody out. It's tough, because uh, coming off such an emotional win, getting down by so many so quickly, there's a lot of, the Bulldogs appear drained. They definitely appear emotionally and physically drained out there. Which can make for a long game. That's right down the line, and that beats the third baseman. And that's going to be a play at third, possibly. The throw does not get there in time, which allows the batter to advance to second. Bro has is now back in business with runners on second and third, and nobody out. So when you're mentally and physically drained, and you're down by this many this early in the game, it can make for a long game. Because Prout right now is up and on fire, and uh, everybody's hitting. Number 14, the catcher from game one, the senior, watches ball one go through. Doubled in her last at bat and scored a run. Has scored twice in this game. And is now playing third base. Over the plate, and that's a hard hit single to center field. And that is going to plate both runners. Makes the score 10 to 1 Prout. Runner on first and nobody out. Much quieter game and the crowd has thinned drastically on the similar side. But I do think that they are content to, to a certain extent with the split. They needed at least a split. They absolutely needed it and they have at least a split. This game is not over. Any wise, it's far from over. And Wesley has the capabilities of scoring 10 runs in a game. Emotionally, unfortunately, this is the back end of a doubleheader. That makes the weight of it 10 times harder. It's not like any old comeback victory. It's, uh, okay, we've played 13 innings and we're tired. They're human. And that's a hard hit single between short and third. Everybody's hitting right now. She pitched an entire game, including extra innings. So allowed her arm to cool off for two innings. And then it asked to throw again. I believe that's a monumental, if not impossible, task, but... I know very little about fast pitch underhand pitching. Runners on first and second for Prout. Bunt shows, pulls back, strike called. We are in the bottom half of the fourth. Bulldogs are playing a little bit up. Square for the bump, pull it back. 10 to 1 lead, bunting, no outs to advance the runners. Peculiar decision, but Wesley's offense is a threat. And we have another ball. Strike. 
And she does get the bottom ten off down foul now. Two strikes. The pitch fouled out of play. Valentini with the pitch, line drive, single up the middle. And he's gonna wave one runner around. The throw's gonna go into second, and that's gonna play it one more. So with no outs, the score is 11 to one. Everybody's hitting very hard right now. Can't put the blame on the picture being asked far too much. There's a freshman on top of everything here. Low and in the pitch. And she goes with the pitch and gets it through the infield. The freshman does a good job of going with the pitch to the opposite field. Singles in another. Runners at first and second. I guess they're just getting balls back into the umpire here. It's the delay. Number four is at the plate. Abby Smith, the junior. And that's called the ball. Yeah, that pitch is outside. And the pitch is low and in. Drag call. Full count. And that pitch is going to be ball four, and that's going to load them up, folks, with nobody out here. It's going to make things difficult on the Bulldogs. And that's grounded to first. The play goes home. Smart play out at home. Good play by Cacciolo to Arnold. Knock down on the run at least and get the first out of the inning.
We are going to head to commercial really quickly here, folks. I think we're good. I can see. Let's go, Andrew. And that's a swing and a miss. Head in the count. The pitch breaks away, and I get in the call at the late break outside. Bases are loaded, one out, huge spot here. Infield at an intermediate to in depth. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. So they get the call, must be upstairs. It's getting the plate, it's got to be a height thing. Frustrations on the face of everybody. I feel for them. And that's off the hands. That's going to be sucked up by Storr. Good job. And we have an out in the inning. So now there's two down. Bases loaded. See if they can end this inning. Number 21, Molly Green, another freshman. She's playing third base. She steps in. Pitches right over the plate. Reaches out, tries to pull it. And the may left field, the senior makes a running catch. That's Murdoch to end the inning for the Bulldogs, who sort of jog and walk into the dugout. The score after four, Prout 12, Westerly 1, game two, doubleheader. We are Westerly Live, Westerly.Live, correction, and we are going to go to break. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Westerly's top half of the fifth inning. Game two of a doubleheader beginning to be a long one. So, game one, folks, for a recap, it was a beauty. By the numbers, this is my segment, which I will call. Bulldogs went down 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. back, brought it all the way back 3-3. Three to three. Immediately went back down 4-3, to three, tied at 4-4, four to four, and won 5-4 to four in eight innings. Second game, game we are in, did not go that way. Without a recap, I will just give you the scoreboard. Bulldogs, who are visiting, have one, and Prout has 12. They have struck the ball well, and unfortunately, Wesley had had, has had to go and ask for the services of Sofa Valentini in two straight games. The fly ball for the Bulldogs is eaten up by the center fielder, one out. Valentini pitched eight innings to Gem in the first game, giving up only two earned runs, and then went out for two innings in the second game. Murdoch having an issue, I'm assuming physically, and uh, Valentini was called upon again. Very, very difficult, if not impossible, task. We now stand at 12-1. to Bulldogs have one out and nobody on. Top of the fifth inning. Gabriella Brennan at bat. So that's a recap of the evening, folks. Lights are on. Game is winding down. Two good teams playing. And from what I've been explained by talking to the coach before the game, Real, real. 
And so the first for the out, the second out. And the Bulldogs try to do something here with an out. Nice breaking ball over the plate. Great job waiting on it. That's Senior Murdoch with a single and leads it off. Murdoch, senior leader, really is a good pitcher and player all around. Just had something going on tonight, and that is sports. Could have been more than likely it was something physical, and it's very frustrating for her more than anybody. People don't realize that. I'm sure she wanted to do nothing more than pitch game two of this, and that was the plan. It just didn't go that way. It's just unfortunate from afar to see that they don't have a third option because to see the pitcher ground ball to third doesn't get the double play, has to double clutch, makes the play at first and ends the inning. That is four and a half complete. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. So it's unfortunate that Valentini's had to go in and put more innings on top of the eight in game one. They've gone to the well and she's put in two more here on her way to her third or fourth. Bulldog teams just they're exhausted at this point and losing is tiring. And every team everybody on the Prout team is heading to the outfield. Not sure what the game is over. Okay, so there is a mercy rule. Alright, so there's a mercy rule. I apologize, I wasn't aware it was in effect. This game is over. And Prout has taken game two. I apologize uh, for the lack of knowledge of the rules there, but Prout clearly had command of the game the entire way. I'm assuming it's a 10-run mercy rule. But the doubleheader was split. Game one goes to Westerly. Game two goes to Prout. It's an even one-in-one -one split like it never happened. So that's good for the Bulldogs who have Bayview coming up on June 8th. And they're going to need a split there, which will keep them ahead of Prout if they can earn that split. Bayview undefeated at the moment. Prout has already lost both two. We will be back in action on the 4th. We are westerly.live, and we will see you soon. Thank you for tuning in.